Welcome back to the announcement stage. I'd now like to introduce to you Victor Osumi, Delta Airlines President of Japan and Managing Director. He will be highlighting an announcement under APEX inclusive and interconnected pillar, which includes investments that will further the integration of the digital Pacific, foster broader economic participation, and promote equality and inclusion. It's a privilege to welcome to the stage Victor Osumi. Good afternoon. This is my honor to be here today, and thank you for uh, attending this event. Uh, Delta Airlines announced the new nonstop flight to Asia, including a new daily service from Atlanta to Seoul, Korea. Now, this means it's going to be double daily from Seoul to Atlanta as well as daily service from Seattle and three flights a week from Detroit to Shanghai, China, and daily flights from Honolulu and Minneapolis to Tokyo, Japan. Just to give you a little bit more details, beginning from Korea, Delta Airlines and the Korean Air has collaborated to enhance the customer ex experiences through the seamless digital check-in, baggage allowance, and reciprocal benefits in their loyal programs. Together, the joint venture offers a comprehensive network connecting over 290 destinations in Americas and 80 destinations in Asia while introducing new service to Incheon from Minneapolis and Boston. In addition, Delta Airlines expanded its flight schedules to China. On October 29th, Delta started the daily flights to uh, Seattle and three times weekly from Detroit, culminating in 10 weekly trips to Shanghai Pudong International Airport. In addition, four weeks service from Delta's Los Angeles hub resumed in July 2024. Customer can connect to other cities within China through Delta's partner with China Eastern, offering over 260 code share flights per week. For Japan, Delta launched a new non-stop daily service between Tokyo International Airport Haneda and Honolulu International Airport on October 28, 2023. This comes after Delta moves all Tokyo operations to Haneda in March 2020. Delta also resumes service from Haneda, Tokyo, Minneapolis, St. Paul in summer of 2023, last summer. Today, we operate six daily direct flights to six U.S. destinations out of Haneda. Let's quickly uh, uh, touch on the sustainability, which is one of the pillars for this year's APEC CEO Forum. Delta Airlines continues to make immediate progress on a journey to net zero emission by investing wisely in disrupt disruptive um, solution across the business and customer travel ribbon. Today, Delta embedded sustainability in everything we do, from electrifying our ground service equipment at Delta hubs and reducing single-use plastic at the airport and onboard aircraft, to investing net zero supply chain and fuel efficient aircraft. Since committing to our 10% SAF procurement goal in 2021, by the end of 2023, Delta has ensured take agreements from more than 200 million gallons of SAF. Over half of, this is over half of a commitment. We have also set new SAF goals to include 35% include of uh, SAF by 2035 and 95% by 2050, which is designated to eliminate a climate impact from flying alongside Air Force Advance, revolutionally fleet partnership while max, uh, maximizing fuel efficiency gain of 40% by 2050. Take, uh, to make this effort possible, Delta has already partnered with US-based SAF startup, Jivo, and a Finnish uh, company, Neste, to uh, deliver over 8,000 gallon of SAF to Atlanta and Los Angeles Airport. In addition, 
Delta has also partnered with Bank of America, Ecolab, Excel Energy, and Greater Minneapolis Partnership to establish the first large scale SAF hub in the United States. The coalition aims to replace conventional jet fuel with SAF and accelerating the decarburation of the airline industry. The coalition plans to bring commercial scale volume of SAF to Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport by 2025, aim for the 50% SAF used by Delta at the Minneapolis by 2035. Again, thank you for your attention. No one better connected to the world. Thank you.